Hello, my name is Nathan Danielson, and this is a brief tutorial about tacking and calibrating your guide weld VR unit. Just so you know, when you tack, that is the same time the unit is calibrated to be aware of where your gun is in space. So you want to be careful about how you do it, and this tutorial is to walk you through that. Once you're ready to weld, you'll want to hold the gun in a similar position to what it shows on the screen. So if you're doing a T-joint or a lap joint, you want to hold the nozzle of the gun at a 45 degree angle to the coupon's end. If you're doing a butt joint, it'll be at that 90 degree angle. You will want the head of the nozzle about halfway over the end of that coupon as well. This is important because this is the part where the unit tracks where this is in space compared to what it's showing on the screen. So in this case, we have a lap joint, 90 degree angle, halfway over the coupon, and you pull the trigger. Then, once it moves over to the other side, you move over, do that again, and you're good to start welding. It's gonna be a very similar process with the stick gun, with a couple of differences. For starters, once you start the weld, the first thing the gun will do once you pick it up is it'll extend to its full length. Once it's at its full length, just like with the mid gun, you want to take the tip of the gun and hold it at that 45 degree angle if you're doing a T joint or a lap joint, or 90 degree angle if you're doing a butt joint. And you want the tip of that gun to be right up alongside the side of the coupon. So that way, the handle, the stick, and the coupon form a parallel line with each other. Then, once you've got it in position, you want to hit this yellow button here to signal that you're in the correct position, and then the system will tack or calibrate itself at that point. Put it in the position, push the button, then it'll move over to the other side, you go over there, once again go to the correct angle, and also have it parallel with the end of that coupon, and push the button up top again, at which point you'll then be able to start welding. And that's all there really is to tacking and calibrating your guide weld VR unit. With the MIG gun, you just want to make sure you've got it at the correct angle there. And also make sure you're watching for the position the handle is in because there are sensors in both the tip of the gun and the handle to track where it is in space. And with the stick gun, you'll want to give it a chance to extend first and then hold the tip of that gun in place and push the trigger on top to signal that you've got it in position. I hope this video was helpful for you and that you have a wonderful day.